Welcome everyone, my name is Anton, I'm a lead SRE engineer at Cognigy, and today we will discuss our development and operational processes, focusing on scalability, security, performance, availability and efficiency. Firstly, I will talk about scalability and performance. We will look at how Cognigy implements microservices architecture and how our development and deployment processes ensure performance and security of our platform. Then we will explore availability and uptime. We will have a look at our monitoring system that promptly detects and reacts at any issues. We will also explore how Cognig implements incidents management and disaster recovery processes to minimize downtime and to ensure business continuity. Lastly, we will discuss platform's efficiency, how we optimize resource utilization and adapt to changing workloads with the auto scaling mechanisms. Let's have a closer look at scalability and performance of Cognig AI platform. Cognigy products leverage microservices architecture and are delivered as containerized applications. But why containerization? Well, the standardization of shipping containers in terms of size and features has made shipping industry highly profitable, and application containerization similarly simplifies the process of deploying and delivering applications. Docker is the containerization technology used at Cognigy which enables our developers to package and deploy applications in a portable and lightweight container format. This allows for greater flexibility and easier deployment across multiple environments. And that's where Kubernetes comes in. Kubernetes is an orchestration platform for containerized applications. Like the shipping infrastructure, which includes ships, ports, and cranes, Kubernetes allows us to manage our applications at scale providing automatic deployment, monitoring, and management. So what does all this mean to our customers? Well, it means that we can deliver our products faster, with greater consistency and reliability. Let's have a closer look at what a Kubernetes cluster is. A Kubernetes cluster is a set of nodes that run containerized applications. These nodes can be physical or virtual machines, and they work together to form a cluster. The master node is the conductor that orchestrates the applications deployed on worker nodes. It manages the overall state of the cluster, schedules and coordinates applications on worker nodes and ensures that they are functioning correctly. Applications can be moved between nodes allowing for load balancing and auto scaling. As demand increases, new nodes can be added to the clusters and existing applications can be moved to the new nodes, ensuring that the workload is distributed evenly. Disaster recovery is also made easier for containerization. Applications can be easily moved to a different node if a node fails, ensuring that the workload is still being handled correctly. Finally, zero times rollouts are made possible on Kubernetes. As new versions of an application are deployed, they can be gradually rolled out, ensuring that the application is still available and functional during the deployment process. Let's have a look on how we ensure continuous delivery. Continuous delivery is the practice of automating the software release processes, ensuring that code changes are consistently and automatically built, tested, and deployed to production. At Cognigy, we use FlaxCD, a tool that enables continuous delivery for Kubernetes clusters and implements GitOps approach. When a new code change is pushed to a Git repository, FlaxCD detects the change and automatically deploys it to the Kubernetes clusters. This ensures that the clusters are always up to date with the latest code changes without any manual intervention. In contrast to traditional deployment, such as pipelines, manual scripts, and custom configurations, FlaxCD greatly simplifies the deployment and consolidation of the environments. At Cognigy, we deliver new features and improvements to our customers every two weeks. To ensure that the new version is stable and responsive, it is automatically installed with FlaxCD first on test and staging clusters, and then on production environments according to a schedule. Before every release, we perform load tests by simulating a real end user conversations. We start by load testing the system with a few users sending requests to a virtual agent. Then we ramp up the load until we have a thousand of users sending messages concurrently. During the load test, we check the response time of the system and the error rate. We compare these metrics with previous releases to ensure that the product remains stable and responsive. By doing so, we can proactively identify and address any issues and bottlenecks before they affect our customers. Let's move to security of our products. 
First of all, we run regular security scans to ensure that our platform is free from vulnerabilities. We use a tool called Sneak to scan our products multiple times a day. The vulnerabilities are categorized as low, medium, high and critical. To ensure that we don't miss any security issues, we have built a Cognigy agent that notifies us every day about new findings. This helps us to create a bi-weekly security report, which we align with every software release and ensure that we keep track of any potential issues. The security report can be delivered on request to our customers and prospects. Finally, we have a process in place to make sure we deal with the security findings accordingly, especially critical and high vulnerabilities are sold with high priority. For example, there was a vulnerability that was all over the 10 years some months ago. We were able to identify it quickly and we implemented a fix on the same day to ensure that our environments were not affected. Let's explore how we ensure high availability and uptime of our systems. Our monitoring stack is built on top of Prometheus, Grafana and Alert Manager. Prometheus collects and stores metrics as time series data, which means metrics information is stored with the timestamp at which it was created. All our microservices export metrics that allow us to get fine granular statistics about application performance. Grafana is a tool which enables visualization of metrics from the applications running in the clusters. For example, for CogniGI, important metrics include number of conversations processed per given interval, mean and peak message percent time, and so on. Grafana dashboards allow developers and SRE engineers to identify performance problems and anomaly behaviors and to correlate them with external events such as log spikes, software releases, and cloud infrastructure issues. Prometheus allows to create alerts for metrics and anomalies, for example, if message processing time is getting slow. And Alert Manager is a component that does routing of alerts to pager duty, which in turn creates and tracks incidents and does routing to external notification channels. This way, our monitoring stack enables us to identify the issues proactively and resolve them before they impact our customers. But how can we check that the systems are healthy when there are no conversations going on? For this, we have implemented an automated framework that performs regular synthetic checks to identify any issues with the application logic. Synthetic monitoring simulates user behavior, allowing us to ensure that our environments are functioning properly even in the absence of traffic. For example, our system generates syntactic checks on regular intervals for conversations and intent trainings using natural language processing. These checks are designed to verify the health of the application by ensuring that the conversational flow and intent recognition are working as expected. If the check fails, our system immediately creates high urgency incidents and notifies an on-call engineer. At Cognigy, we use PagerDuty, a cloud-based service that provides 24-7 monitoring by our SRE team. SRE engineers receive alerts via push notifications, SMS, email, phone calls, and other channels, ensuring that we are always aware of the incidents. To ensure that we can respond to incidents in a timely manner, our SRE team implements an on-call rotation policy. Team members take on-call shifts on a rotating basis making sure that there is always someone available to respond to incidents at any time of the day or night. We also have incident escalation policies in place. In case an on-call engineer is unable to acknowledge or resolve the incident, the issue is escalated to the next level after five minutes. This way, we guarantee that the incident can be addressed as quickly and efficiently as possible. As part of our incident management process, we categorize incidents into two types based on their urgency, high and low. High urgent incidents are those that require immediate attention and resolution. These incidents have significant impact on our services and we prioritize them accordingly. Our SRE engineers are trained to handle high urgent incidents quickly and efficiently to minimize their impact. On the other hand, low urgent incidents have a lower impact on our services. These incidents are still important, but they can be addressed during the next business day. And as you can see on this slide, we guarantee high availability of our services by keeping mean time to acknowledge the high urgent incidents below two minutes and median time to resolve them below 15 minutes. 
Our incident response process starts with an on-call engineer receiving an alert via pager duty, support channel, or any other notification system. The process defines escalation and action items to be taken by the on-call engineer, depending on the severity of the incident. The ultimate goal is to restore affected services as quickly as possible. However, this process does not end once the incident is resolved. Every incident that causes a disruption of a production service and impacts service level agreements is followed by postmortem analysis. The value of postmortems is to create a culture of continuous improvement. By analyzing past incidents, we can identify weaknesses in our software and processes and take steps to improve them. We store postmortem reports internally and review them on a monthly basis. Let's examine our service level agreements. Service level agreements or SLAs are contracts which define the level of service that a customer can expect from a supplier. Cognji uses SLAs and service level indicators to ensure that our customers receive the level of service they expect. Service availability is one of the most important indicators, which is defined as the percentage of time that the service is available during a given period. We use status page to communicate our SLAs externally, allowing our customers to track the availability of Cognji services. Additionally, our status page provides a mechanism for communicating any issues that might arise and impact SLAs, as well as scheduled maintenance that may happen. Let's take a closer look at logging of our environments. In contrast to Prometheus metrics, logs contain textual data produced by applications. Logs allows us to identify the root cause of a service degradation and provide information on the events that occurred before, during, and after the issue. Cognigy uses Elasticsearch as a solution for collecting, storing, and analyzing logs from the applications. It is designed to handle large volume of data, making it ideal for storing logs generated by Cognigy AI platform. Kibana provides a graphical user interface and we use it to analyze logs stored in Elasticsearch. Together with Elasticsearch, we use Sentry, an error tracking and performance visibility tool. Sentry enables our SRE and development teams to identify application runtime issues with proactive notifications. It can also map issues to releases and to figure out if any error was introduced by a particular release. In addition to detecting issues, Sentry provides a possibility to measure performance with fine granular metrics in the application code. By measuring performance at this level of detail, developers can identify specific areas of our applications that may cause performance issues and optimize them accordingly. Let's review disaster recovery process at Cognigy. Disaster recovery is a process of restoring a system after a disruptive event. Such events can be caused by natural disaster, cyber attacks, power outages, human errors, or system bugs. Disaster recovery process involves a set of procedures and policies aimed at minimizing the downtime and avoiding the data loss. This process includes such steps as backing up the data, testing the backup, and restoring the system from the backup when necessary. At Cognigy, we use Eliro, a tool which provides recovery automation and minimizes the downtime of the system in case of such events. We also test our disaster recovery procedures and policies regularly to ensure that they are effective and up to date. And last but not least, let's explore how Cognigy addresses efficiency of the platform with resource autoscaling. Autoscaling is a technique used to automatically adjust the resources of an application based on its workload. In other words, it automatically scales the application in terms of CPU, memory, as well as the number of instances. Our SRE team precisely configures autoscaling mechanisms to adapt to changing workloads and at the same time to minimize the infrastructure costs and to guarantee our SLAs. As an example, this slide showcases a real scenario where our autoscaling system was utilized to respond to unexpected load spikes in one of the environments. You can see how the number of replicas of the application increased in response to conversations and TCP connection spikes. And this brings us to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.